Um, just a couple of reminders. Uh, cell phone boxes over there. Fred has a place to put the cell phones. Uh, we ask that you use uh, those doors and these doors to come and go from the room. Please don't use the doors over there. Those are near the top boards of the championship section. Uh, let's see. Um, oh yeah, uh, player bios. If you have a, if you have some time and just want to write a few sentences about how you got into chess or uh, some of your achievements or what you like about chess, anything at all, just a short paragraph would be great. We'd love to include that in the article about the state championship for Northwest Chess Magazine. Uh, and it, the deadline for that is March 5th. So. Uh, Please, uh, if you want to write something up, please send it to me or the editor, Jeff Rowland, by uh, the March 5th deadline. Um, we also like pictures. If you have a good chess picture of yourself, we'll be taking pictures here as well. Um, and some of these will be going on our Facebook page and also in the, uh, in the magazine. Uh, also, annotated games. There is a uh, best annotated game prize in each section. Uh, we we welcome submissions for that. You can send us the game in PGN. Uh, annotated is best, not just the raw game score. Explain your thoughts and ideas while you were playing the game. Um, if you thought it was an especially brilliant game, do mention that. Or if you had a cool attack or something, or a, or a 10 move smother date, right? Um, let's see. And then we have, uh, today we have Ani here. Ani, Suresh, and Fred will be overseeing the, uh, the playing room. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, please direct. You know, if any issues come up during the game, you can just get one of them and they'll help you out. Um, but so far, it's been a really smooth event and uh, no major issues. Suresh is going to uh, go over. Did you have any, any key that you um, want to talk about? No, Suresh? Uh, you can start today. Okay, all right. Uh, just a reminder, make sure those cell phones are turned off, stowed away in your bag, or up there in uh, Fred's box. Okay. Yeah, Shushan. Um, some of the players are new. They don't know how to offer draw. In the middle of my game, opponent made a move, came back 10 minutes after and said, we accept draw. Can you explain how that works? So the draw is distracting, and it's yeah. kind of illegal move. Right. So the appropriate way to offer a draw is to uh, make your move and before you hit the clock, say, I offer draw. And then hit the clock. Uh, no. No? The appropriate way is to write down the move, offer, offer the draw, and... Make your move. And push the button. Okay. Yeah. So you have to write down your move. Well, you can... Okay. Uh, we're not talking about repetition claim. We're talking no. about just a draw offer, offering right? Offering a draw. Just offering a draw? Yeah, just offering just a draw. Just offering a draw, okay, yeah. Uh, that's an addition. Offer the draw, hit the clock. Yeah, you usually offer the draw and then hit the clock, right? Yeah, yeah and not come yeah. back after five minutes right. and so, just drop your opponent off with yeah. the draw. Also, repeated draw offers are considered bad form. You offer a draw and your opponent just finds. Uh, yeah, the positions have changed substantially. So you offer draw the uh, end game with rooks and bishops on the board, and the bishops go off, so you can offer another draw. But if the bishops are still on, probably not. All right, so just try to follow good etiquette. Um, this is the state championship, our most prestigious event of the year. So we uh, we ask that everybody tries to be respectful. Um, all right, looks like most players are here. Anything to add, Fred? Yeah. Uh, regarding the adjust piece, I see many of them doing adjust uh, in opponent's uh, clock time. So please do adjust in your time when you have your. Okay. Uh, so I think uh, all the best for the players, and let's start.